Chapman Design is an award-winning boutique ag agency that creates conceptual design for world-class clients. Also, they create world global entertainment advertising for print, motion picture, and interactive designs. Dan Chapman is the number one movie poster design um, artist out there. <laughs> so I want to focus a little bit on his work today. So we're going to walk through some of uh, Dan Chapman's posters. Okay, next slide, please. Well, let's start with Stairway to the Stars, <laughs> a Lorenzo film. And I really wanted to focus on this today because I wanted you to see how the poster evolved. So immediately, you utilize your poster to help raise money for the film, get distribution, and bring awareness to your project. So just start with the poster anywhere because you can see uh, what Lorenzo did. He created the Stairway to the Stars poster where you see the stairway going up to the sky. And at that time, nobody was sure about what actors were going to come in. They're going to the actors. So um, then what they did is, while they're on the set, you always shoot behind the scenes footage, you know, uh, stills on the day, on the, on the entire shoot. And you grab all those assets and you bring it to your movie uh, design, your movie poster design person. So let's just say it's Dan Chapman. So um, Lorenzo sent all his stills over to Dan. And then if you take a look at the poster on the right hand side, you can see that Dan uh, put in a, a great picture of Sean Young and a great picture of Quentin Aaron. And then he also uh, put the information, uh, which is the log line, in a mythical place where fame and fortune come and go, the only real thing is friendship. So you can see that the log line is on the poster uh, with the, um, you know, the actors and then the name of it. So you can really tell what this particular film is about. I think he did an excellent job. I think it's one of my favorite posters from Dan. So now we're going to move on to another poster. Okay. Hey Carol, can I say a quick thing about yes. the work with Dan? I don't know if Dan is tuning in or not. Is he? Uh, <laughs> he will after. Okay. Basically, if you could go back to that other slide just for a second, Mahid. Um, the one on the left is very bare bones. It, it gave across this idea of two people climbing a set of stairs over this 25 minute film. Dan Chapman did for me as a filmmaker, what you want a skilled crafts person to do, which is to create a visual uh, that embodies the film without a lot of words uh, and is not cluttered with too much information. Um, Dan is very much a uh, proponent of, of spare design. You're pushing the limits a little bit sometimes with information that the producers want on there. But I must say that uh, the only guidance I gave him was that uh, I wanted the stairs to be central to the idea. Uh, I think these stairs on the right were AI generated. The ones on the left were, were an actual sculpture that we used as a graphic element and that I wanted the characters to be sort of antagonists, one on one end side of the image, one on the other, which was kind of inspired by some Harry Potter posters that we both liked and, and thought of as good examples. So here you have an example of, of a graphic artist coming in and lifting the project up uh, by many degrees through their work. So that's all I wanted to say. Great, brilliant. Brilliant work. Okay, we're just going to go through a few more posters. I'm going to discuss the posters and then I'm going to uh, read the log line because in your next class, we're going over not log lines. So I wanted you to kind of work on that and listen to this. So Almost Famous, you can see in the poster, uh, in the glasses, you can see that there's somebody on the stage with a crowd cheering. And so you can really get a feel that this person is almost getting famous. <laughs> so let me read you 
the log line. A high school boy in the early 1970s is given the chance to write a story for Rolling Stone magazine about an up and coming rock band as he accompanies them on tour. So you really feel in that poster, you're gonna go out, you know, be on the stage and really get to see the behind the scenes. So I think he did a brilliant job. Okay, now we're gonna move over to Millions. If you look at the um, boy's head, you can see the light behind it and the money flying. And you can really get a feel for, um, wow, he becomes enlightened with this newfound money. And so the, the tagline underneath millions is, can anyone be truly good? Hmm. Okay, I think that's a great poster, but let's go on and let's listen to the log line. The log line is ethics, being human, and the soul come to the fore when a seven-year-old finds a bag of pounds just before the currency is switched to euros and learns what we are really made of. So that gets your mind thinking and, uh, you know, very inquisitive to what's the story with this little boy and, and what's going to happen. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Well, Aaron Brockwich is one of my uh, favorite films out there. <laughs> it was so momentous. They even have um, a thing called the uh, Brockwich effect. And because this documentary is so powerful and created so much change. But if you look at the poster, you can see, you know, the main character on the run with the child fighting the big fight. And you can even see on here the log line on the poster. First, you know, it's a true story. Then it says she brought a small town to its feet and a huge company to his knees. Well, I think that says everything in that poster. It's a classic poster and kudos to Dan. Now we're going to move over to American Beauty. American Beauty, you can see the poster where you see a young, uh, a young girl's body with a rose. And then so you're starting to think, hmm, how old is this girl? But just the little tagline on there, it says, look closer. And it really makes you look closer, like, how old is this girl? What's really going on here? And you can see uh, by this post, you can get a good feel of the log line. The log line is a sexually frustrated suburban father has a midlife crisis after becoming infatuated with his daughter's friend. Wow. Powerful, powerful poster. Okay, next slide, please. Well, we chose two posters that were... Um, Documentaries that came through from the heart and actually won <laughs> the grant. Both of them have uh, won the grant over the over years. And um, I think he did such a great job by giving a discounted service to the winners of our grants. So we'll start with Do No Harm. Well, obviously, you can see that uh, it is a poster of a doctor. And... The tagline is, what's killing our doctors? To make you think. Well, you're looking at the hand and you see the scar on the hand. You can see, hmm, that could be sui suicidal. And then you see the other line. This is exposing the Hippocratic hoax. Well, what are the doctors, you know, doing to the doctors? Are they pushing them too hard? What's really going on here? So I think that this is... A very, very powerful uh, poster. Okay, so let's just go over the log line just so you can see. Jumping off hospital roofs, hanging themselves in janitorial closets, overdosing on drugs, they're A students, and their suicides are often well planned school projects. These doctors are being pushed to the brink by lack of sleep and having to work so hard. Uh, this is what this documentary did, brought awareness to that. And actually, this um, really helped make change in the industry today. So, excited about that. Now, the um, other movie poster on the right is The Weight of Honor. Wow, that poster says a lot. You can see um, 
the woman holding his hand and you can see you know the the injured uh war wounded soldier in the poster well that says it all because uh what happens when they come back and and what happens to the family and who's doing the 24-hour care it's a lot to think about it's a really emotionally touching poster now let me read the log line jumping off hospitals rooftops hanging themselves oops i read the wrong one again sorry <laughs> here we go the weight of honor follows the lives of caretakers of veterans that have been cast um toughest catastrophically wounded in America's longest war. Their lives are transformed overnight to 24 seven caretakers tasked with carrying their war wounded. The film reveals the family dynamic, the relationships before the wounds of war and now the uncertainties that lie ahead. Hello, I'm Carol Dean and I've produced and financed many films. I'm teaching a producing class where you can learn financing, acquiring rights, hiring crews, locations, scheduling, post-production, and a lot more. So please consider joining us. From the Heart helps filmmakers get their projects funded. I am a From the Heart Productions avatar and reading a review of a real filmmaker that we have helped. You always showed such incredible knowledge of the challenges we face and specific insight into some actions that would be valuable. Equally importantly was also the encouragement you provided to have strong beliefs in our strengths and to proceed with an attitude of confidence. We have stricken the word may from our vocabulary. We owe you a huge debt of gratitude. Thanks for your review, Arnie Sparens. From the Heart helps filmmakers get their projects funded. I am a From the Heart Productions avatar and reading a review of a real filmmaker that we have helped. Carol Dean's advice in the process was invaluable. She is a bright, down-to-earth person who helps manifest ideas and tap into abundance. Having From the Heart Productions as the fiscal sponsor for our film, La Jolla de Oro, since the developing stages of the film helped lots to get the rest of the funding from the idea to the Cannes premiere in May 2013. Persevere, learn, adjust, adapt, keep going.